like a review of the LTGB. Um, so we've got a Comet KV3 LTGB, SU152KV2, M6, and the ST V in our team. And they've got like a black prints and stuff. So straight away, we're gonna rush right up here to this side of the map. We need to be careful of the enemies, so we pop right up here and we poke out our gun a bit so we can just try to spot any enemies that might be here. And I don't spot any right here. And then the STRV, I think that's what he, yeah, the STRV, he pushes. I realize there's not many people there, so I decide to push. I have to be careful in this situation because sometimes it can happen like that review of the Lorraine. I popped out thinking no one was there because we thought they were spotted, then there was a heap of people. So now I'm starting to get a sh I got a nice shot on the KV2. The ammo rack him. Well, I didn't actually ammo rack him, but I hit his ammo rack. Um, there's this P43, I got a nice shot on him there. I decide I probably shouldn't just stay here sniping a bit after this. So I decide to push after a couple. I look at this Type 59 here. I get an unlucky miss. I It wasn't a miss, it was like a bounce or something. Or just hit a bad spot. I don't know, but yeah, I try to shoot him again, but I didn't get that hit. So now I decide to push um, up here. And I actually can't make a bad push. And if my teammates weren't behind me, I probably would have just got wrecked here. Because I get up to this rock and all these three are like, these two are like right there. So I ask for help. I'm really scared because that was a bad push of me. And if my teammates didn't come and help me, I probably would have been dead here. So I pop out the quick shot on that KV-2, making sure I don't get hit because those KV-2s, if they get a good shot, if they get a bad shot, they can hard, they hardly deal any damage. If they get a good shot, they can deal actually quite a lot. So you have to be careful of them. He tries to get a shot on me when I go up there. My teammates are shooting him luckily. When he backs off, I get a quick shot into him there. Then my teammate finishes him off. Oh yeah, nice shot into that M41. Um, I'm doing some, I'm just popping out and shooting here. And I'm getting pretty lucky doing it. Um, and this KV-2 is calling me a nub. Noob. So yeah, I, I think he doesn't realize that, like, we're actually doing pretty good here. We might have been on the other side of the map. Yeah, we might have been on the other side of the map the whole time, but it's not our fault we didn't know that they were there. And right now we're actually doing pretty good, so I think I think he should probably get a lesson on what's a noob and like yeah. Maybe if you see that person battle, maybe try giving him a lesson. Maybe ammo rack him, then he'll get salty. Yeah, people who get salty are just really weird. They go die, so they go, oh, what am I going to do now? Let's argue. Okay, here now I'm running away, but sadly I'll die. Because I know I'm not going to um get away. This STRV, I don't know what he's doing. He seems like a pretty good player, but he's just staying here the whole time. Sniping, which isn't a super bad thing, but I think he probably should have tried to help a bit more. He's just sitting here sniping, and now I start to tell him that he should stop base capture. He's getting a bit scared to stop the base, but like he's probably not gonna win. I don't see how he could carry this game, even though he has full health. Um, yeah, um, he's not. I think this. They'll just destroy him if he gets in front of them. 
Um, he's probably not gonna survive, I don't think. Right now, I, I'm trying to say quick, but I keep saying wick on accident. I did it, said it a second time on accident. Um, I keep telling this person, quick, get them before he gets a base. And yeah, I just decided it's gonna take too long. He's just sitting out the back, not doing anything. So I decided to exit the battle just so I can talk to you about the LTGB. Um, so right now he's trying to shoot at the Black Prince. He hasn't stopped the base capture yet. Yep, I decided to exit here because I think I kind of just want to have a conversation about the tank. So right here I'm about to just look at the stats of the LTGB. So here it's front turret armor is 75, hull 75. Oh, I just scrolled down, I can't see that now. Um, So yeah, it you can actually get some pretty bounce, good bounces all over. Like once I've got bounces of like a thousand damage, more health, more damage than I had health. And like it can really just be helpful. So yeah, the LTGB is fast, definitely worth it. So yeah, you should get this tank. If I'm getting a bit bored of the game, this is the tank I hop in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video.